Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about the step-by-step -step guides on how to start a fish farm business in Nigeria. Fish farming is a profitable business. As a matter of fact, it is one of the first growing agribusiness sectors trending in Nigeria as of today. The startup of a fish farm is very capital intensive, but return on investment is very high when farming operations are carried out correctly. However, it should be noted that fishes are very sensitive to any changes such that any costly mistake could leave your fishes with degenerated growth and loss of money as a result. The two basic subdivisions of fish farming that could either be carried out separately or as an integrated process include the nursery and the grow out. The nursery aspect deals with the inducement of the female fish to lay eggs to be fertilized, incubated and hatched and finally produce fish called the fries. The fries are raised to fingerlings and juveniles. The grow out aspect involves nurturing and growing the juveniles to table size or to a weight of 1 kg and above. The step-by-step -step guide on how to start a fish farm business in Nigeria include source for good water, secure a suitable land, engage the services of professionals, get approval for your fish farm project, commence construction work, choose the right species of fish, choose the right fish feeds, get proper training. Fish are aquatic animals which by nature live in water as their habitat. The knowledge of this implies that to conceive the idea of a fish farm means a good source of water has to be thought about and located. A good source of water for a commercial fish farm could be from a river, stream, dam, city council or underground water. Water quality is the most important factor affecting fish health and performance because they solely depend on water for all their needs. That is why you should adequately supply your fish with good quality water to aid their survival. To maximize the investment, there should be no shortage of water at any point and provision for a backup option should be made in circumstances where the main source of water has a challenge. After identifying and locating a good source of water for your proposed fish farm, the next thing to do is to secure a suitable land close to the source of water. The major reason for situating your fish farm close to the source of water is to reduce the cost of channeling the water to your farm. Another major consideration when securing a land for your fish farm project is the disposal of wastewater. The fish farm produces wastewater and as a result of that, a proper disposal option has to be identified. It should be such that the wastewater can be easily disposed into canals or drainages. And it is not advisable to situate your fish farm in residential areas. The reason being that the fish odor could be a nuisance to inhabitants of the area and you would not want a report to be made to the local authority as regards your fish farm. Also, ensure there is an access road to the fish farm and near to the market. Once these are carried out, a registered surveyor should survey the land and a topographic map should be used in designing the fish farm and other structures correctly. It is unwise to venture into commercial fish farming without engaging the services of professionals. The first step towards maximizing profit 
is by engaging the services of professionals like the fishery consultant and the aquaculture engineer to give details about the project and provide supporting documents. The supporting documents include the business plan, the proposed design of the fish farm, and the bill of quantities. The business plan contains the background of the fish farm business, farm operations, revenue, and other financials. The proposed design contains the architectural and structural design of the fish farm, while the bill of quantities contains the cost associated with executing the project. There are laws governing land use in any country in the world. As law-abiding citizens, it is expected we seek approval for our proposed projects from relevant regulatory authorities. The penalty for boycotting relevant authorities and commencing the project without approval could be weightier than necessary and there will be unnecessary backlogs, especially when there is a project timeline. Commence construction work with regards to details and specifications given by the aquaculture engineer. It is the responsibility of the aquaculture engineer to meet the biological and engineering requirements of the fish farm to attain its full objectives. There are several hundreds of fish species in the fish family. Among these and a whole lot, catfish and tilapia are advisable to be chosen because they are the most popular breeds in Nigeria. These types of fishes are very lucrative because there is a high market demand for them. Basically, fish feed on natural foods like phytoplankton and zooplankton found in the ponds. You can self-produce their feed in pellets, powder, and granules using the necessary ingredients that give nutrients to the fish. As a fish farm starter, getting manufactured feeds from a reputable brand is essential as all the necessary and required nutrients by the fish will be made readily available. These nutrients are needed by the fish to grow fast within a little space of time. To produce a healthy and weighty fish, getting trained by experts on crucial aspects of aquaculture like breeding, feed requirement, routine husbandry, and the general farm operations is very essential. Getting the right and needed information before venturing into any business is a step taken in the right direction. I hope this information helps you in doing the right thing towards setting up a fish farm in Nigeria. Kindly subscribe to my channel for more helpful information on fish farming. Thank you.